Right. Hello, hello. Um, back from holiday time. And what I'm gonna do, I did a short competition race, competition server race, as they renewed the, the, the thing, how to do that, and to make them more, make more races, and shorter races. I thought, well, let's give it a try. So I did a race, and I'm doing this, by the way, in English, and not in my native language, Dutch, because I've also seen some graphical anomalies that I've no, not yet seen before. So my plan is also to share this video um, to the Assetto Corsa, for them to well look at it basically maybe i have to do something in my graphical settings i don't know what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna go to the gallery and you see here this race 35 minutes official competition server free or free with the aston martin racing v8 vantage gt3 at john donington park this is what i'm gonna sh gonna show you guys didn't stream this live and I'll pause it for a bit and I go to um, yeah this is the start because this is the warm-up lap that's not so that, that very interesting um, results no toggle hot yes and I'll go straight to the overview to start the race um, I started in 8th, 8th qualifying of the 17 I think we finished in 12 I think a lot of some 5 people quit because well, they quit. I don't know. Um, had a short tussle at the start. And uh, wanted to spoil you anything. I did get to the podium at the end. But, uh, okay. Let's get started. So, this is the start from the top. And we're going, 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 going. One of the graphical things immediately I see around the car and on the wheels is kind of shimmering. If that's the right word for it. Bill touched on the door here. He spins, but I'm not. But then I got touched by the Ferrari. Go around. I'm like, oh, okay. Luckily, I got back on the track and got missed. So I'm getting that one back. But in the end, I'm losing a couple of places from 8th, I think, to 11 or 12th. Oh, it's 17 now, but that's not right, of course. The number one has got a drive through for whatever reason. Here you see the shimmering. On the edges of the car and on the wheels, very clearly. That's something I don't I don't know how to solve that. I've done a lot with the uh, graphical settings, but maybe someone else can comment on that. Would be great. I'll push this on YouTube so people can... Oh, you can see it again on the bumper, really good. The band. So I'll put this on YouTube and if anyone can comment on it, then that would be great, of course. Okay, going back to an outside view. Got a slight hint of damage, but not much. Didn't hinder me, so I didn't uh, opt to repair it. In this race, there's one pit stop mandatory. There's an eight minute window in which only refueling is mandatory. So what I did, you see before, I started with around 50 liters, making that enough for a half an hour race, including, oh, didn't even see that. Go straight. So that was the number one, I think. Yeah, Alan. I think so. Was the no, it was something else. Yeah, it was this one. And it has high stakes. It was also an Aston, so there's only two Astons in the race. So I'm up to ninth already, up to down to. Here again, you see the shimmering around the front or around the tires or around the back it's it's really weird see it on the back here and also sometimes on the the curve zones you also see it appearing again on the front oh, someone besides the track again So doing steady laps, now up to 7th. Let me see if I can find something about the track, that's always need to mention. Great, great. 
Great preparation again. <laughs> okay, here we go. So down the straight, Wheatcroft straight, onto Redgate. Then that slow or slow, that those meandering corners. They don't. It's Craner curves, I think they are called. Down to the old hairpin. You see the shimmering again on the end. Turn up one and pause. Also here, you see this, this this stuff here, uh, the shimmering stuff. I don't know what it is, uh, what it's called in English, but it's it's weird for me. It hurts my eyes. I also have this on the when I pause it. It's not there. You see? Then it's gone. In some cars where they have a large grill, like the Bentley or the Porsche, um, I've got the same thing. Like like the the, the grill is changing. Really weird. But any case. These are the S's, it would seem. Yeah, the S's going down to the Melbourne hairpin. Really tight one. on the last corner called Gullards which brings us back to Wheatcroft Strait I just call it Pit Strait but uh, apparently it's called Wheatcroft Strait a few more cameras so here's a lap on to Redgate Trainer curves and down to the old hairpin. Sharp. It's a bit cambering, so turn in and then full throttle again. Onto Sharky's bridge. And then McLean's. This turn is called McLean's. Then up towards Coppice. That long turn over to Sharky Strait. Brake hard for the S's. Try not to make it an illegal turn. So keep one end of the car on the on the, the tarmac. And onto the Melbourne hairpin. That's slow. Well, almost 180 turn. Degree turn. Accelerate out of it. And go on to Gullers. What's happening there? Someone in the grass. So we're in seventh, which is good. Let's see if we can go up a bit. Seven. Seven, now we're six. Behind that BMW, the red BMW. Really catching that guy. And Bartolini, in which I had to crash with, he's faster than me in the Mercedes. He was, he's coming up also. This guy, he's got quite some damage on the side. Let's see that. Yeah. And I'm sixth, so someone's in the pits or not? No, someone quit. I didn't overtake Bartolini. I don't know who. It's a really cool track, the Donington track. I really like it. It's fast, it's flowing, it's that that the shimmering again. It's that that feeling of of I call it British Street Fighter circuits like Brands Hatch, like uh, Alton, like Snetterton, it's old school. There's no runoff, it's grass. Immediately grass. So you have to be very precise in your steering in order to not lose it. 
You don't have a runoff area or... You know, it is gravel, but not a whole lot. And no tarmac overrun, so when you miss the corner, then... Okay, then you miss the corner. Let's look at Bartolini. He's gonna overtake me, I think, here. On Melbourne's. No, not here. Maybe the next corner then. The next lap. But going well. Now in sixth. Chantesi gets the drive through. Maybe that's the one here. Although he's standing still, of course. He's out. Car disappeared. Also trying to see where something in the in the grill is shown, shimmering stuff. Maybe I can show the Porsche later. Now this fight is too good. Still sixth. And he's quicker than me. You can see that he's really pushing hard, trying to get to me. And he's closing really, really fast. Despite the damage on the right hand side. And this is the corner where he will overtake me. Outbreaking me. Clean move. So I gave him space. Nothing to defend here. As I said, I saw him coming for two free laps. Being quicker than me. Regardless. So he's gone. You see again that, that shimmering, flickering kind of stuff. I can't filter it out. I've done many graphic stuffs. Oh, I'm coming in. Coming in for the pits. Pit stop. Mandatory. Only a bit of fuel. Stopped a bit short. And done. And go. Some other stopping as well. Okay, camera one. Outside at least. Back in tenth now. Of course the pit stop did something. Seems we've got a clean field ahead of me and behind me. Really love that low brown, like a sound can have a color, but that low brown sound that the uh, Aston Martin has, that low grumble twin turbo V8 engine, which is actually an AMG engine. For some reason, Mercedes has provided the, I think it's 4.3 liter V8 twin turbo to Aston Martin. While they prefer to keep their old 5.7 naturally aspirated V8 engine in their Mercedes cars. So that doesn't have a turbo. Just bigger, uh, oh, just a bigger engine. Several cars in the pits. You just see me. What, three, four? Three, four cars there. So, from 10th to 6th. I've said this before in other races I've uh, done, the Aston Martin is still my favorite. I like the Bentley also. 
and then GT4, uh, like also the, the Aston Martin in his handling, it just meshes with me, it just clicks with me. What I don't like is its low end acceleration, that's poor, I guess. What I do like is that it's very forgiving, it's easy uh, to not spin it, to not make it mad at you, to not oversteer it or understeer it, it's stable. Um, so yeah, I think there are quicker cars out there, um, but I also think, I still think that this is the quickest car for me. Like I said, I like the Bentley as well, but on most tracks I'm on par with the Aston Martin or up to an, a second slower, I guess, yeah, up to a second. I don't like mid-engine cars. They're, they're all, I'm always struggling with them. In GT4, I'm trying to master the Alpine, which is a challenge because that's also a mid-engine. You would say, but it is a mid-engine, I think, and a bit low on power. And on GT3s, I like the McLaren as a mid-engine the most on its handling. But still, I'm I'm like two seconds behind on the Aston for whatever reason. Um, but it is what it is. Up to fourth now. Again, two cars passed in the pits. So fourth place. Very cool. And we're now uh, two first of the race. Gonna speed up a bit. Still fourth. Here I'm third. Also third. Ah, that's what happened. Maliavyatskovki spun out. Yeah, too early on the throttle. Damage his car. And here I'm coming. This is a notorious place. If you go on the throttle, if you go too wide and then throttle up, then you spin out. That's a notorious place to. Uh, and he's out. He exited the race. So that makes me third. Well, I to make this not a longer video than necessary. I'm closing still on Harold Jack. And Kobiakov is trying to close on me, but in the end it's it's not uh, I'm not quick enough to catch Harold, staying at ten to eleven seconds. And Kobiakov stays about, he closes actually to the end, around 5 seconds, I'm going to the end now. Four seconds now. Into the final lap. And we started with 17, there's still 11 here, so 6 people, well, decided to quit. Again, that's shimmering on the nose. But when I pause it, it's not there, so that's annoying. So I can't show it in a picture. Which also means, to me, it's some kind of a visual video rendering thing, which I, I don't understand why it's, why it's happening. So, like I said in the beginning, when people can look at this and comment on it, either via the Assetto Corsa forum or on the YouTube video, I'd very much appreciate it. How, to, how I can solve that. Again, here on the curbstones, the black shimmering. And we're coming to the end of the race, the end of the lap. Third, so started in eighth, and well, had a little of a rumbling, but ended in third in this beautiful Aston Martin. So that's the that's the video. That's what I wanted to show. Um, just a short race, competition server race, and to see where that put me. Because I don't do a lot of these, so I guess my competition server score was zero. Safety track com uh, what's it? competition 13. Okay, it wasn't zero. It was 19, and now it's 13. On whatever calculation is made, because I don't know this. I don't know what rating means. What ELO means? Result 16 of 6 of 19, 3 of 19. That's the end result, of course. 
but what does ELO mean? I have no clue. Anyway, competition score 13. Nice. So, this was uh, a short replay of this race. It was a cool race, I think. I'll try these more. I'm, I'm now basically dead set against public servers. I'm either on community races or on competition servers. So, uh, thank you for watching. And again, um, if you watch this and you see the shimmering stuff and you know how to solve that, I'm very, very interested. I've tried a lot of stuff on the graphical part within uh, the game, but nothing that that uh, that helps me with this. So, enough for now. Thanks, and uh, catch you later.